Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here talking about cold and snow, but the snow should probably be the smallest part of this story because the cold is the headline act here. Um, everybody gets hyped up about these little snow events and yes, we are going to have a chance to snow this week. I'll talk a lot about that, but the cold should be the number one focus. Today is Sunday. The cold front is on the way in. This is an Arctic blast, which is going to have a huge impact on us. You can see uh, the low pressure system and a good burst of snow for the mountains. So for my followers in the mountains, you're under a winter storm warning and an extreme cold warning combination of cold, snow, blowing snow. It is going to be brutally, brutally cold and snowy up there. Roads could be disastrous um, the next couple of days because temperatures are not going to get above freezing. Um, let me show you the temperatures because this is the story. Honestly, we can get into the snow here in a minute, but look at all this cold air up to the north. I'm going to turn off the satellite imagery just to show you how cold this air is. You can see it diving down into the upper Midwest, below zero readings. Look at all the cold air. It's made it all the way down to the Gulf Coast where we've got winter storm watches and warnings in effect all the way down to Houston, New Orleans. Places that don't normally see snow are going to see snow and eventually that system is going to be heading our way. So let me talk about the cold because this is kind of the headline. So this is our forecast over the next 21 hours. You can see that cold front is going to arrive sometime this afternoon and then look at the drop. So this is for the Charlotte area. Other locations, these temperatures will be in the single digits and teens by tomorrow morning. So we're talking brutally, brutally cold temperatures. And to me, this is probably the biggest story uh, across the whole area. The cold alerts, all these areas, cold weather advisories. That means wind chills or temperatures are going to be teens or single digits, extreme cold warnings. We might see more of those over the next couple of days. And for the Charlotte area, just to give you an idea, these are the lowest wind chills we expect in the Charlotte area teens and single digits for the next four days. So we don't normally see stretches of weather like this that are this cold for so long. And to me, this will have the biggest impact on you, your vehicle, your home, your pets, your plants, all the P's, right? People, pets, plants, and pipes, right? All those things are going to be affected by this cold, even in hardy areas where we tend to have better insulation and stuff. This is the kind of cold snap that could cause some issues. Okay, so we know it's going to be cold. That's a big part of this. Let's get into the snow chances with the cold in place. All right, so let's talk about snow. Yes, there's going to be a storm. It's a weak system for us, but a bigger deal for Area South. Look at all these winter storm watches. I, I, it's been a while since we've seen winter storm watches this far, far south. Um, and again, these will likely be extended up into the Carolinas, but probably for the low country, Midlands, Eastern North Carolina, more so than areas in the, the Piedmont West where we probably aren't gonna see that much precipitation. So let's get into the system here. Uh, we'll go through time. That's the Arctic front. So the blue lines here you see on the map, um, I like showing these, these are what we call thicknesses. We look to see how cold the atmosphere is based how thick it is. In this case, the thinner it is, the colder it is. This 540 line is something we sometimes refer to as the rain snow line. Uh, that's all the way down here. But if you're within, you know, uh, you know, one or two of these thicknesses up there, you could still get wintry weather. But you see how far south the rain snow line goes. And then we get into tomorrow, um, into Tuesday. You could see our low pressure system developing here over Texas, pretty far south, but it's got enough moisture flux or, or plume of moisture to get up here into areas like Atlanta, or Atlanta, Houston, um, New Orleans, Lake Charles, Louisiana, Baton Rouge. I mean, that, that's a, that's a lot of snow for them, and that's likely going to be primarily snow and some ice. Now, what happens, the reason this system doesn't become a bigger deal for us, um, the system doesn't wind up. And what do I mean by that? You're probably saying, Brad, what does that mean? Um, normally, a low pressure system down here, for us to get a strong low, it starts winding up, meaning there's getting a bunch of moisture getting pulled in. It gets deeper. The tilt of the system starts to tilt back this way, which pulls more moisture and throws it into this very cold air mass here. But what happens as we go through time, you'll see the storm kind of flattens out. What do I mean by that? Well, instead of winding up, the storm gets stretched out this way. So it ends up being more of an overrunning event, which means we're getting a, a stalled Arctic front basically off the coast. A wave of low pressure, a very weak wave of low pressure is close enough to throw moisture back up and over it, but we're not getting the huge forcing or lift to create widespread precipitation. Um, now, could this change? There's still a possibility that this storm can get a little bit stronger. If it's a little bit stronger, that means it's a little further northwest. It would pull more moisture in. But I'll be honest with you, we have not seen dramatic shifts or changes in that in anything. Some of the guidance has gone the other way. So there's still a chance this could be even further south. So keep that in the back of your mind. Yeah, it could snow, but there's a chance nothing could happen, especially in Charlotte. So um, again, I, the one thing I'll reiter reiterate, this is not going to be a big snow. It will not accumulate 
in many areas, it's just going to be falling. So it's really the cold. So as we go through time, you see the there is a nice little band along the beaches. Boy, that, that could be a really good snowfall for areas that don't normally see. And I don't think there's much mixing, honestly. It looks like it would be primarily all snow. Um, and then the system moves out and you see the cold air kind of sticking around. So let's talk about totals real quickly. So my honest opinion here for the Charlotte metro area is the chance of zero to a trace is by far the biggest percentage here. If you add these up, 70% of this is in this range. So this is what you should be focusing on. This is the most likely outcome, 70% chance of zero to an inch, though a trace means it just snowed its stick um, is more likely. So this is very similar to our last system, to be honest with you where we weren't expecting more than a trace to an inch south, but one to two north. This is trending more towards the trace to one for everybody. So very similar, but no ice. That's the good news, no ice. Um, the high end, I think the absolute highest we could go if it, if it busts would be two inches, two to three inches, but that looks extremely unlikely. So where's this gonna fall? We'll start locally first. Um, I'll move my head over here, it's easier. You could see probably mountains and foothills, Northwest Piedmont, zero trace to an inch here you're gonna have to get to interstate 95 before you get to like one to two inches and i'll widen this out just to show you the wider view here um, you can see if there's going to be a hot spot for snow right now i think it's going to be eastern north carolina kingston to jacksonville to maybe wilmington moorhead city out towards the beaches um, at, on the outer banks and then down inland charleston maybe north of savannah another little hot spot um, we'll have to watch, and this would be an area to watch in here if a band could form up right along the coast. Um, but this is not going to be a big event. It just does not have that setup. The good news is, I'm going to pause this, um, we don't have a warm nose here at all. So in this setup, we're primarily looking at just, just um, snow because it's cold all the way to the ground. So, I mean, that's the good news. There's just not a huge setup for mix in here, even at the beaches. So. Um, this is going to be an all snow event. It's just not going to be a ton of snow. That's the story. So let's look at Futurecast because I did bring the Futurecast in just to show you locally what it looks like. All right. So I'm focused locally here, bringing on the temperatures here so everybody in our area can see them. You see the, the Arctic front arriving this afternoon. Look at that temperature drop. Yes, snow in the mountains on and off tonight. Winter storm warning already in effect. Um, by tomorrow morning, I'm going to stop this. Look, look at the temperatures in the mountains, by the way. Single digits, teens. I mean, it's only in the 20s here. We're below freezing, it looks like sometime in charlotte area sometime around midnight and look at this it stays below freezing all day tomorrow um all night and into tuesday wake up teens 20s tuesday afternoon we start to see some snow flurries possibly to the south the best chance of snow is right here eight o'clock so right above my head's the time so again you could sit, still see our guidance is showing at least that flurry chance close to us, heavier amounts out towards the east, but the back edge is somewhere in here. Now, again, subtle shift either way means you could get a little bit more snow, but again, if this shifts half a county or a county away, you know, Charlotte could end up with zero, but these are definitely areas that have better chances down to the south and east. It doesn't last long either because it moves out fairly quickly. Um, after midnight, it looks like it's gone. Um, if not sooner, we wake up Wednesday morning it's in the teens and the snow is out of here. So that's kind of what we're looking at right now as far as snow chances. But I did want to quickly um, show you the, the temperatures because I think this is almost as important. So watch the cold air coming in. You see how cold it is. Those are below zero readings, by the way, when you see those shades up there. And then you see how cold the air mass stays well into the overnight hours the next couple of days. So we've got a good stretch of maybe four days of maybe consecutive hours below freezing, 70, 80, 90 hours. There might be an hour or two we jump above freezing, but not for very long. So the thing to prepare you for right now is the cold, a little bit of snow could cause some slick conditions on the roads, but right now cold is the number one story for the week ahead.